Hello everyone, this is uh, round 3 of the Grand Chess Tour in Paris. Uh, Magnus Carlsen is uh, playing white and uh, Maxime Bashir Lagrave is playing black. Uh, and uh, it was a very interesting game uh, where uh, Maxime uh, found a very nice computer move, but uh, Carlsen's human move uh, proved to be uh, more useful, uh, as it was a rapid game. Uh, so let's see the game. Uh, Carlsen goes e4 and Maxime plays c5. Maxime is a, a very good uh, Sicilian player as uh, he's known to be one of the uh, one of the best players of the knight dwarf in the world. Uh, knight to f3, d6, the knight of defense, c3, uh, c, uh, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, bishop to e2, and now e5, kicking the knight. Knight to f3, bishop to e7, and bishop to g5. Here we have knight bd7, all standard theory, a4, uh, b6, knight f to d2, h6, kicking the bishop, and uh, Carlsen decides to take the knight, uh, bishop takes f6. Uh, knight takes on f6, and uh, now knight c4. Uh, Carlsen did give up the bishop pair, but uh, he is planning to create a nice uh, outpost for his knight on b6. Bishop to b7, and now a5. And uh, here Maxime goes for it. Uh, pawn to b5, attacking the knight, and now knight to b6, attacking the rook. Uh, but also, uh, he is attacking the rook, but he's also uh, given up his e4 pawn, which Maxime gladly takes, and uh, plays the knight takes e4. And uh, here, although it seems like Carlsen can uh, grab this rook, this, is, uh, uh, this isn't very good for white, as if uh, knight takes on a8, uh, here simply knight takes on c3, uh, b takes on c3, and now queen takes on a8, threatening the g2 pawn. And after bishop to f3, simply e4, and uh, this is so much better for black, as the position is uh, very open and black has the bishop pair, and after the bishop moves, even e3 is coming, and uh, this is very hard to play for white. So, uh, here, Carlsen, uh, Maxime uh, plays knight takes e4, and here Carlsen, uh, Carlsen doesn't take the rook. Carlsen plays uh, knight takes on e4. We have bishop takes on e4, and now bishop to f3. Maxime takes the bishop, queen takes on f3, and now simply rook to a7. And this is... Uh, Pretty much an equal position, maybe a slight edge for white here. And Carlson plays c4 within still a very equal position. And this is uh, where the computers uh, were suggesting the move d5, and uh, since it was a rapid game, uh, they didn't really think that uh, Maxime will be able to find this. Uh, but he actually did. Uh, Maxime played the d5, and uh, if you watched the stream, you could uh, see that he was uh, very, very satisfied with, it, with himself. He had his uh, James Bond look. Uh, but here, uh, uh, computers are suggesting for white uh, to simply castle and uh, not to react to this uh, d5 idea. Because if uh, white plays anything, then bishop b4 is coming with check and uh, black and uh, white can no longer castle. But here, Carl Carlson plays a. Uh, a, human, a Carlsen move. He plays c takes on b5 and he allows this bishop to b4 check and goes king to e2 uh, as usual not being afraid of a little king walk. Uh, here we have bishop takes on a5, knight uh, takes the pawn on d5, a takes on b5 and here b4 pinning the rook on a7. Now we have bishop to b6 and here Carlsen grabs the rook uh, a, a bit better for white was uh, taking the bishop, but uh, again Carson plays his own move and plays rook takes on a7, bishop takes on a7, and here rook to a1. And uh, this is already a tricky move, as uh, uh, he did give uh, Maxime a chance to blunder here. For example, if uh, Maxime was to play something like bishop to d4 attacking the rook, then this rook to a8 would be devastating for black. Uh, pinning the queen, and if the queen captures, then simply knight to c7, uh, checking the king, and uh, with a double attack on the black queen on a8. So of course, uh, Maxime is a bit uh, too strong of a player to miss this, so he goes, plays the strongest move, bishop to b8, practically forced. Uh, queen to d3, 
And here Maxine castles, finally, getting his king to safety. And uh, Carlson captures the pawn on b5. There wasn't really a way to protect this. And uh, black is actually better here, and this is where Maxim uh, should have uh, seized the initiative with uh, the move queen to h4, attacking uh, this pawn and uh, keeping his uh, keeping Carlson's king still in the center of the board. Uh, but he missed this and he played e4, which seems like a reasonable move as it uh, opens up this diagonal of the bishop. Uh, but uh, on the other side, it allows Carlson to consolidate with g3. So. I, I don't think uh, black has a compensation for this past b pawn. Uh, bishop to e5, attacking the rook. Rook to d1, attacking the queen. Queen to g5. King to f1, and this is uh, this is where Maxim uh, blunders and uh, throws the game. He plays f5. And uh, Carlsen finds this uh, great move with uh, queen to a2. Uh, queen to e2, which uh, accomplishes many things. Uh, for one, it uh, it uh, allows the b pawn to freely travel to, the, to his queening square, and uh, on the other hand, it stops all hopes of black forever playing f4. But for example, if black tries f4 now, the queen simply captures here, and uh, after f takes on g4, uh, it doesn't really. Uh, white will capture here, and this move is not possible because uh, simply this check wins the game. For example, uh, the only move is king to h8, and here knight g6 check uh, wins the rook and wins the game. So yeah, queen to e2 was a very good move by Carlsen, and uh, he found it very quickly as it was a rapid game. So king to h8, uh, protecting his king from this check, uh, but now f4 is coming. And uh, here we have uh, e takes on f3, Carlsen grabs the bishop. Queen to h5, uh, knight to f4, attacking the queen, queen takes on h2, Carlsen plays knight to g6 check, king to h7, uh, knight takes the rook on f8 with check, king to h8, now again knight to g6 check, king to h7, and now uh, knight to h4, protecting that uh, important g2 square. Uh, queen to h1, and here Carlsen just plays king to f2, giving up his own rook. Uh, but now we have queen takes on uh, f5 check, and uh, here Maxim resigns as, uh, well, <coughs> uh, Carlsen is a piece up, and uh, this is uh, completely winning for white. So yeah, it was a nice rapid game, uh, a, very, uh, a lot of action on both sides, and uh, it's uh, too bad for Maxim as he did find that a very strong computer move, and uh, Carlsen was able to refute his computer move with his own uh, human move. So yeah, that's the game, Carlsen versus Maxime, uh, round 3 of the Grand Chester in Paris. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon.